Reamping over USB. This is a really cool thing you can do with Helix that maybe not that many people know about. Traditionally, what reamping was, was let's say you're in the recording studio and uh, recording using a traditional setup with like some effects and a guitar amplifier that's mic'd up and you're printing that sound to tape. Okay, what reamping was, was sometimes the producer would take a separate DI signal out of the guitar. What was the reason? Well, later on, you could take that DI guitar part and reamp it back out through some different effects, through a different amplifier, mic'd differently, and get a completely different sound than what you were going for originally. It just gives you options when it comes to mixing. Helix makes this really easy to do over USB when you're using it as your audio source as well as your audio interface. So let me demonstrate. I came up with the sound here using a uh, Princeton style amp sim, Minotaur style drive, uh, a delay, and a reverb. And I got a pretty cool tone for this little piece of music I came up with, and I laid down this part. Let's check it out. Okay, now let's take a look at my screen here. You can see here I've got this other track that I've got muted right here, and it's labeled Electric DI. Okay, I laid down a DI part at the exact same time as I laid down that main guitar part with the main guitar tone. How did I do that? Well, uh, the main guitar sound here, the chain is kicking out outputs one and two, of course. So I record enabled a track here, inputs one and two, and I laid down that main tone. Okay, now simultaneously while I was tracking that main part, I was easily able to lay down a DI signal completely unaffected. That's because Helix is always kicking a DI signal out of USB seven and eight. So all I had to do do here in my DAW is make another track, set the input for 7, 8, and record enable that track. And I was able to print that DI track without any extra effort. Let's hear what the DI guitar sounds like all by itself. Okay, DI guitar is never fun to hear all by itself. I set up another preset here. This has a fuzz in it this time with the same amp sim and a little more echo added. So it's a little bit more of a dramatic sound. So in order to get that DI sound back out of my DAW into Helix through my effects chain and come back on another track, I just have to set some things correctly. So on my DI track, I've got the output set for out three and four. Within Helix, I have the input of this new fuzz patch set as USB three and four. And then I simply come out the multi output down here in my DAW, I make another track, I set the input for one and two, now when I hit record, it's gonna send that DI track out through Helix, back out of there, straight onto its own track back in Logic. Reamping over USB made easy with Helix.